Hello and welcome back to my channel. So what I'm going to show you now is taking my Dell. There's a lot of stuff on here I don't really want on here. When you get a new computer from a manufacturer, you've got a couple of choices. One is you can do a clean reinstall of everything. Um, that's what I usually will do is install Windows right from scratch. Um, chances are you'll install a better version anyways. Um, but it'll also get rid of all that OEM bloatware that comes along with it. The downside is sometimes it can be very difficult to find drivers and um, especially if it's got computer components you're not familiar with. This one, everything's pretty familiar, but still I thought it would be a good video to show you kind of the first steps I go through um, when I get a new computer to declutter it. And what I try to do first is try to use what's there, remove stuff I don't need, see if it's working and if I'm happy with it. And if I'm not, that's when I'll do the re-image. Um, that way I'm only re-imaging kind of when I have to. So one thing to kind of mention, during the last couple of videos, we've been doing some setup and some things like that. Um, so I have installed a couple of apps that um, are on here, but other than that, I've tried to do very little. So we did a video where I showed you how to install hard drives. Um, and other than that, there's a couple little programs related to that. So uh, OBS for video recording, the VR Mark demo, which we used to make sure um, we were getting a nice uh, frame rate. Um, other than that, most everything on here is default. Now, when I set up the account, I use a local account first. That lets me change the path name to get to my account um, because my Hotmail has an underscore and it makes my username look really ugly and I'm kind of don't want it to look ugly. Uh, so I use a different account um, and then I connect it to my Hotmail after. Um, so kind of a nice trick there. Now, let's go ahead and just start moving through the things I want to declutter on the desktop. So first things first, I don't use Edge, but you can't really remove it very easily unless you install Windows N. Um, I did, because I had to download all this stuff, install Firefox. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that, and I'm going to go ahead and pin it. Um, that'll just keep it there, so whenever I come back, um, it's always there. Um, I don't use their Mail app, and that's open from the other day. Um, OBS, I probably can launch manually when I need it. I don't like shortcuts. I never have. So we're going to get rid of those. And I'm going to go one step further um, and go view, hide desktop icons. If I can't get to it from here or from here, I probably don't need it. So let's take a quick look of what's all on here. Um, Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Cooking Fever. <laughs> Uh, Cortana, you can keep it if you want. Uh, it's a search assistant. You'll need it for this anyways. I don't think you can remove it. Um, you can disable some of its functionality, but even then, not much. Um, same with Connect. That's, I believe, for connecting to their mobile devices. Not much you can do about that. Same with most of this. Um, once in a while, you'll get an error uh, about a camera version being incorrect. If that happens, uninstall this one and reinstall from the store. But check, because I had an issue where on a bunch of our computers, it kept trying to install the wrong version of the camera. Um, so it just give me a weird error message. I'm going to go ahead and keep some Dell things in here. Um, Dell Digital Delivery lets me um, trickle download things. Um, not trickle download, but it'll help me auto update things. I'm OK with that. I probably don't want this because there's a good chance. Um, I don't particularly trust that. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Um, Dell Mobile Connect, what is this? PC smartphone integration. Oh, mirroring screen, transferring files, screen text. I'll keep that. We'll try that later. Yep. Um, Dell Update, I want to keep that. This is the kind of stuff that I don't want to remove if I don't have to. Um, Dolby Access is for your sound card. You might as well as keep that. Dropbox promotion, new uh, new Dropbox users for one year. I don't use Dropbox. They can't manage files the size we have. We have over one million files on Google Drive. Um, one or Dropbox only allows no more than a hundred thousand before they refuse to give you support. Feedback Hub. I don't want to fill out forms. There's no reason for it to be on here. Um, Fitbit. No, 
game bar, can't even remove it, get help, can't even remove it. So you can see I'm just flipping through and getting rid of easy things. Killer is usually killer um, wireless, so you probably want to keep that. Um, yeah, that's going to be a wireless for your um, Wi-Fi. Uh, what else do we need to get rid of in here? So HP, this is probably because I have uh, HP printers that we use for our company, so I'll keep that. Keep that. LinkedIn. I don't need that on my computer. Ugh. Logitech, that's for the camera, that's what you're looking at me on now. Um, mail, I don't use, but you can't remove it. Uh, maps, I don't use on my desktop, but you can't remove it. Uh, McAfee, we're going to get rid of this. I don't know if it'll let me uninstall it from here. Um, no. There we go. So I don't want anything McAfee. Um, I use Bitdefender, and I have a license for the entire household, which lets me use it on unlimited computers, so there's no reason for me to have McAfee. Yeah, no kidding. Do, do, do. <laughs> That's why I like using this, is because it doesn't let me, I don't get restricted to <laughs> only uninstalling things a handful at a time. So we'll keep un uninstalling McAfee on the side there. Um, Media Suite Essentials, I'm going to keep that because Dell does provide PowerDirector, which I already have. Um, but it's always nice to have um, another one. I don't want Microsoft's news. Um, guess I'll keep Solitaire. It's good to have, I'm going to have Steam on here, I already do actually, um, so that's not going to help me much. Mobile plans, I don't want it to throttle my network, no reason to have that on there. Microsoft's Mixed Reality Portal, nobody really uses this except for people who really love Microsoft, I'm not one of them. Um, Nvidia, got no choice. OBS, I got that installed. Office, this is going to ask me for my licenses as soon as I go to run it. Um, and I'll probably uninstall and remove it all because what I found is when I use these, I enter my license, it installs the software. The ni license says it wasn't activated, I have to reactivate. And most of my licenses can only be used five times. Um, so there's no sense in me double activating and using up a license. I'd rather remove this and install something better. Um, don't know what that is, and I'm not going to keep it. So, as you can imagine, most of my life right now is spent just right-clicking on things I don't want. Um, some things you can't remove, some things you can. Uh, Skype, for example, you can remove it, I guess. Um, the reason I want to, un or I want to remove it here is um, the built-in app no longer can be logged in and logged out. You have to use the desktop app. Um, I don't really use Skype. I never really keep it running. so. Uh, I'd rather use something a little less intrusive, or at least a version of it. This is again for your video card. Oh, it'll be interesting to play with that. Um, Built-in accessories, I'm okay with an Xbox. Your phone, can't remove it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't work, I don't think, with Android anyway. Uh, and there we go. Now on this side, um, I already bought other software. I might as well be honest. Restart later. We also don't want their web advisor. It scanned one file and found nothing wrong with it. Okay. So this looks fairly clean. Actually, what's future mark? Is that part of? Yeah, so that's probably part of VR Mark. Okay. Um, that looks like it's about it. Which is awesome. Um, that means I can now go and install my software. I didn't want to install everything I need um, before I showed you a quick 
run through of the easy way to clean up a new computer. Everything that comes on a new computer should uninstall properly. If it doesn't, get your money back um, because uh, they're doing something fishy at that point. Um, unfortunately, like I said, some of this stuff you just can't get rid of. But what we can do, this should be all duplicate information in here. Um, same thing, if you can't uninstall it there, you can't uninstall it here. Nothing really new and surprising. Um, and I don't really like the Windows 10 applications. I prefer the older style Windows 7 ones that are still built in because it lets me do other things like get into Windows features easier. Uh, here's where you can go in and disable if you accidentally added other languages and stuff like that. Um, this is also where you can go in and get in the older Internet Explorer. I need that for some of our webcams that we um, monitor for our security. Um, so it's just where you can go to install that stuff. And that's really it. So at this point, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to do one quick scan. The apps folder looks like it's all the Microsoft software that comes by default on your computer from Dell, uh, Dell Support Assist. Um, and I believe the McAfee stuff was in here somewhere. Um, so if you're wondering where that's installed, all three of those are Dell folders. Uh, that's Intel. Technically, all four of those are install folders. Um, even this, I don't know. <laughs> Some things, I just don't know why, why they're there. But uh, no sense in wrecking anything you don't need to. There we go. That's everything you need to do to quickly clean up a computer. Once I reboot, McAfee will be gone. I'll need to turn on an antivirus. Um, in this case, I'm going to just install Bitdefender, but you install whatever antivirus you want. Um, but that's the quick way of removing all the bloatware off a PC without um, having to do a whole fresh reinstall. I hope you found this video interesting, and I hope it helped you. Um, kind of was fun to just clean up this new computer and get some stuff off of there. Now I'm going to turn this video off, and I'm going to go install a whole bunch of stuff um, so that I can start using this computer for actual productive work, which will be really nice. Thank you. Goodbye.